I'm Peter with the F5 security team, and this is your 90 seconds of security. Security researchers at F5 constantly monitor web traffic at various locations throughout the world. This allows us to detect current in the wild malware and get an insight into a threat actor's attack pattern. So let's start the clock for a recap of what we saw in April 2019. Over the course of the month, we detected 12 new attack campaigns, including six campaigns targeting two separate Oracle WebLogic server vulnerabilities. Both CVEs make WebLogic servers vulnerable to unsafe deserialization, leading to remote code execution. We saw two campaigns targeting Apache Struts servers, vulnerable to an RCE in the Jakarta multi-part parser. Published in 2017, this vulnerability, which resulted in the massive Equifax data breach, is still a very common attack vector, even though a patch has been available since March 2017. And we also saw one campaign targeting Drupal RESTful web services unserialize. Deserialization vulnerabilities are not a new kind of vulnerability and have existed since the inception of serialization. The core issue behind unsafe deserialization stems from improper input validation. Therefore, as a developer, it is important to consider the different channels through which an input to a deserialized function can be received. It's also equally important to have a well-informed vulnerability and patch management team. All the vulnerability mentioned here were promptly patched by the vendors and it's important to ensure that the patches were properly applied to the affected servers. F5 security researchers will continue to monitor the internet for application threats and share its threat research with the broader IT security community. If you'd like to learn more about our threat research, please visit f5labs.com. I'm Peter, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on 90 Seconds of Security.